Hello, today we'll talk about parathyroid hormone. As the name suggests, parathyroid hormone, it is secreted by parathyroid gland. Where is parathyroid gland? If we talk, this is a thyroid gland. Okay, this is a thyroid gland on in our neck. So these, there are four parathyroid glands. There are two superior and two inferior. There are four parathyroid glands, and from where it, it's embryologically driven. That is. and fourth pharyngeal pouch okay so let's get started parathyroid hormone when it is secreted parathyroid hormone yeah, this is a calcium calcium homeostatic hormone okay what it will do when the calcium level in the blood when the calcium level in the blood decreases okay then this parathyroid hormone comes and it will elevate the calcium level how it will elevate the calcium le- level it act on three organs one is bone one is your kidney and one is your intestine okay now on bone and kidney it will act directly but on intestine it will act via vitamin d okay it will not act directly on intestine it will act through vitamin d here they it will act directly now if we talk about bone suppose this is this i have made bone in bone there are hydroxyapatite crystals of calcium phosphate there is hydroxyproline that is collagen fibers and okay matrix so inside bone there are certain cells that are known as osteoblast okay you know that are the bone forming cells osteoblastic cells okay and there are one cells that are known as osteoclast that are bone destructing cells that will cause bone resorption resorption means taking out the ele- uh, taking out the mineralized elements out of the bone okay so what are, what the pth will do the osteoblast have the pth receptors yes i'm not uh, this osteoblast have the pth receptors not the osteoclast so what happens the here the pth comes and binds with the osteoblast now this osteoblast becomes active and then it will stimulate the osteoclast and then osteoclast does its work after activate after being activated from the osteoblast which has the pth receptors through proteases and collagenases this osteoclast resorbs the bone if i will tell you in detail what happens when when this activation is going on the osteoblast this is osteoblast this after activating from pth suppose this is a here pth comes okay it becomes osteoblast becomes activated and here there are rank l rank ligand these are the ligands which get expressed on the osteoblast after being uh, stimulated by pth hormone okay so this is osteoclast osteoclast this is osteoblast this osteoclast have rank this is rank and this is rank ligand okay now this rank ligand comes when P- it pth is there okay so rank ligand binds with the rank it's a cell protein rank is a cell protein on the osteoclast precursor okay this is a precursor kind of you can say okay where rank l binds to the rank that is on the osteoclast precursor okay then when ra- this interaction of rank l with rank causes activation of this inactive osteoclast into mature osteoclast okay when the osteoclast become mature then bone resorption will happen okay now how osteoclast will do it work after it after it becomes into mature osteoclast okay this mature osteoclast what will happen from the bone it will remove it will remove calcium okay it will remove phosphates it will remove hydroxyproline okay these are the amino acids mainly hydro- uh, mainly i'm just telling the main amino acid rest also are there but this is the main calcium phosphate hydroxyproline 
now this hydroxyproline will go to the urine it calcium and phosphate remains in the blood i'll tell you what happens to the phosphate but firstly hydroxyproline will definitely go to the urine and when you will look to the urine you will survey it then you will get to know if hydroxyproline level is high in urine if hydroxyproline level is high in urine then you can assure that the bone destruction is there so hydroxyproline is a remarkable marker for bone destruction okay this mobilization of calcium and phosphate which i have told you through this pathway rank rankle and osteoclastic activity on the bone this is the slower phase there is one more uh, one more destruction of this removal of calcium and phosphate that is from this rapid okay this was the slower one and one is the rapid at first there happens the rapid phase then happens the slower one so i'll tell you rapid now uh, this is the bone outside the bone there is a interstitial fluid i'll show you this is a bone okay this hole here is the interstitial fluid of the bone and these are the osteoclasts sorry osteocytes osteocytes and osteoblasts okay and this is a interstitial fluid and this is a matrix whatever you can say the bone this interstitial fluid this also contains some calcium phosphates here is hydroxyapatite which i have told you over here and here is the calcium and phosphates which are present so during the rapid phase what happens here on the on the membrane also there are the pth receptors okay here there are the pth receptors here if pth comes then this calcium and phosphate are also mobilized they are first mobilized they are first mobilized that is a rapid phase then this whole thing because it's slower one na no? because this will bind with osteoblast and rankle will bind with rank this interaction will cause or mature osteoclast which will do this so this is a slower phase and this one is a rapid phase uh, this calcium and phosphate will come out through calcium pumps on the membrane like calcium pump okay mem on the membrane this uh, calcium and phosphate will come out this is a rapid phase one more thing this parathyroid hormone is secreted from the parathyroid gland but which cells the other chief cells which secrete the parathyroid hormone chief cells there are two cells in the parathyroid gland one are the chief cells and one are the oxyphilic cells okay oxyphilic cells ph so these are the chief cells which secrete the parathyroid hormone and the how the chief cells secrete it the on the chief cells there are the calcium sensitive receptors that is they sense the calcium level in the blood so if the calcium level in the blood decreases then this chief cells will uh, chief cells will produce the parathyroid hormone okay and as as i have told you this parathyroid hormone acts on bone kidney and intestine the fastest action is on bone of the parathyroid hormone the kidney and intestine action will do in next video thank you